Midday, the Sue Solo Way on Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. We are talking to Country Wayne. We're just going to get right into it, friend, Let's because it. I just feel like every interview you do, it, it be doing some numbers. So oh, yeah. we, just, we ain't going to waste no time. Now, Country Wayne's de- debut stand-up special, Country Wayne, A Woman's Prayer, was streaming. It is streaming on Netflix, and the special actually premiered September 2023. But you went number one on mm-hmm. Netflix's most watched list in the U.S. What was that moment for Country Wayne? Oh, man, when I woke up and seen that, man, that was like, you know, it was just that moment. You know, that yeah. you know that hard work and, and dedication, but to do it in a way that nobody really did it and ain't trying to chase the, ain't trying to chase the sauce, man, I feel good. What you mean ain't trying to chase the sauce? What do you mean by that? Because, like, on, on, um, on, on, on get hot all trends. Okay. It just be my own wave, and I'm yeah. always doing things, you know, the country Wayne way. That uh, if I had if I had a a, a manager, managers don't tell people to do it the way I do it. Mm. So it, they'll tell, hey, you got to do this, you got to be this, you got to politic, own politic or nothing. And the, and the go number one, man, that was crazy. You really do stay out the way. Oh yeah, man. You know, I'm just I'm that old I'm that old school. I'm 36, but you know, I move like a. I move, Six is young. Yeah, but you know, I move like grandma don't used to tell us to move. Yeah, you yeah. Yeah, you kind of do. Okay, so <laughs> you're on tour right now. Yep. You started off in Houston. Yep. Why Houston? Um, that was the first date. Um, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> hey, that was the first date, and I had I was supposed to start in February, but my son was playing basketball, so I made sure I made all his games. I said, well, I ain't start my tour to March. Yeah. Until the basketball season over, so Houston was the um, you know, because they had a, they had to the rock the theaters or whatever, so Houston was just was the first one. How are you such a hands-on father with all the stuff that you do? Because you're always acting. Man, I I cut out a lot of BS. I don't really take. I don't really do a lot of other stuff. What's the BS? What What do we consider BS? You know, well, stuff that don't really add nothing to your life. Okay. So I, don't, you know, I don't really. Man, I just don't do nothing. I don't. I, I really don't do nothing but work and go home to them kids. Yeah. And I have my fun with them work. Yeah. So I don't really. Man, I don't go nowhere. I don't. Travel, so I get my kids that the other time. So this is the King of Hearts tour, and this is with Netflix. Nah, this um, just just me going on tour. Okay. Uh, yeah, I drop I dropped the Netflix special old material, this yeah. new material now. So I was like, man, let me go on tour one more time before I start doing um, I got some movies and stuff I got to do. So let me go out here and touch the people one more time. Yeah. Before I do all that, so the King of Hearts just me speaking from the heart. So I'm trying to understand what what is the Netflix is a joke festival. Oh, that? oh, that's a show. Um, that's a big festival they have with all the top comedians uh, across the country, and this is like a whole week in LA where it's just everybody gonna be there. So okay. it's like, um, it'll be like the Essence Fest, you know, birthday, be- you know, just everything. Okay, okay, but it, it's Netflix creating their own festival, and yeah. you're actually gonna be performing there. May 9th. Yeah, I got a show. Kevin Hart, them got a show. Everybody got shows. All the comedians got a show that week somewhere. Okay, so people, these are two different things, okay? Yeah, you got the Netflix ma- is a joke festival, and then you got the King of Hearts tour, which you are actually on right now. Yep. You're performing at the Fox Theater. For sure. In the ATL. Yeah, the A. Just around the corner. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Now, does the A get something special? Because I feel, you know. Oh, the A, the A, <laughs> this is what we doing it for. Yeah. Because if, if it wasn't for Atlanta, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Once Atlanta pick you up, it, 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 shot, it, it shoot you to the world. If yeah. you get hot in the A, you gone. Yeah. So, you know, uh, man, Atlanta Atlanta is, shoot, that's why I'm able to do the Fox as a comedian. It's hard mm-hmm. to sell tickets. And you ain't got no music behind you just to come see one person. Yeah. No package show. And Atlanta, I always sell the most tickets. So, man, ATL, man, I always show me love. No music behind you. You talking about that tour they just had in Atlanta? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just... <laughs> <ago for it. laughs> when it was, like, all the people performing in between the comedians. Yeah, it's just like, mm. it's just like, you know what I'm saying, no diss to that. But it's just like, I just come out there. So I was talking about like musical concerts. Everybody, gotcha. I'm going to see a musical concert. Yes. Or a package show, you know, but to be one person. Yeah. And I'm going to sit in the, my, my tickets just as much as a package almost. So How much is the ticket? They buy some of um, them, what is it, between $50 and $100, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it ain't bad. But to see one person, man, so for Atlanta to come out and be able to perform at the Fox, man, that, hey, that's love. It's the Fox. Is there a dress code? How how do you want people to come watch you on tour? Hey, man, come as you are, because I'm on the, you know, I'm I'm lit. I'm coming as me. This is Dwayne Coley right here. You're coming out icy. Uh, you know, look, I, I, got, I got a Jesus popping chain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You B- really do. Yeah, v- <laughs> VVS's. Yeah, they're very, very. <laughs> Where do people get the tickets? 
Um, they go to um, Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster, go to uh, my, my website, countrywayne.com with a K, and uh, we duh. What can we look forward to in the future? Oh, these movies. Man, I'm excited to bring these movies to the culture, man. I'm yeah. bringing back all the Love Jones and the Think Like I mean, uh, not Think Like a Man, but Best Mans. Yeah. And I'm bringing that flavor of movies back in my own version and touching the culture. So what I've done on social media, mm-hmm. I'm ready to uh, put these movies out, and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm working on now. So you are directing, producing? Producing, directing, putting the money up, everything. Putting the money With up. With big names, everything. I'm putting my own paper up, and, and, these, and I'm about to bring these movies to the culture, and I already know what it's going to do. Why do you feel like that? Like, is that a natural progression for you, going from comedy to directing? Yeah, because uh, I was kind of always producing anyway. Okay. Just throwing, putting together parties and stuff back in the day. Mm-hmm. And all these kids, I really didn't know this is a big production. You to were put, a party to put To put these baby mamas over here, put this baby mama over here, <laughs> make sure these work together, you're better at this. So all all my yep. tools that I learned in the streets and just natural life prepared me for movies and stuff. Because now it's all about putting it together and mm-hmm. putting the right people in the position. Mm-hmm. even And knowing how to do all of it. Yeah. But put people in the position that could do it just as good or better than you. That's the game. And put your own money up, you know. You do a great job at, like, creating a community around you. Like, it's usually, like, your family or, like, people that you really know and work well with and trust. And I just see y'all just always getting money. We got to get, you got, you going to need people. Now, how, how much money did you say you make a month? Because I feel like you had put it out there. Yeah, I had put it out Not there. Not too you, long ago for it, 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 Yeah, but I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give you, a, it's up there. It's up there now. It's closer to that right now, man, to be honest. It's closer to that, it's closer to that. Yo, man, it's, it's up there. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of money being. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money being made. But I give a lot too. Okay. And 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 the weird thing about it, the more I give and the more I pay my people, the more I'm making. So I know, I when you bless people, God get in your yes. business because yes. it's a really a miracle on how I'm able to make this money, the way I'm doing it, mm-hmm. and don't have to charge the people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, 50 to $100, and for you to be making the money that you are making, I'm like, where's the money coming from? Yeah. But it's all these projects that you have. Yeah. It's you utilizing social media with your three-minute videos because you know you can get paid off that now. Yo. Atlanta, make sure you go support this man. He is staying out the way. He is not in all this comedy drama that we have been seeing, even though they've been taking shots. <laughs> Country Wayne will be at the Fox Theater April 12th as a part of the King of Hearts tour. We appreciate you coming in. Hey, I appreciate you coming. I'm proud of you too, man. Appreciate you. you. I appreciate you. Good seeing you.